is probably cleaner. Janice Gurney thought her home was safe. All of the obvious poisons were out of reach, and all of her medications were in child-resistant packages. But like most of us, there was something she hadn't thought of. It seemed innocent enough keeping hand sanitizing gel at her baby's changing table until four-year-old Aaron swallowed some. I called the poison control center and told them what had happened and um, what he had ingested and um, they reassuring, first of all, saying it's probably not going to be a problem, but you need to give him something sweet to drink. Luckily, Aaron was fine. Janice Gurney's call is one of more than a million handled by poison control centers across the nation every year. Hi, this is the poison center. This is Shannon checking back to see how Carter is doing. And most of those calls are handled over the phone, saving the time and money of a trip to the hospital or doctor. The Poison Prevention Week Council is warning parents and caregivers to check their homes this week. Make sure all medications and household chemicals are out of children's sight and reach, and that the poison control center number is handy. And keep all medications and chemicals in their original containers. You should have a bottle of syrup of Ipecac on hand in case the poison center recommends using it. This is Meredith Resnick reporting.